Welcome back to Western Bridge Hills 22. Well, I don't know why I did it like that. Oh, it's sleep. I probably should have checked where we are at. But I believe this would be our second day since we started the game. I believe. Do not quote me on that. I could be wrong. Wow, so property income is kicking our butt. Don't know what property income we've got. It's, oh, who smashed ourselves into our own building? All right. Cows. Food, plentiful. 40 uh, cows. Wow. Uh, don't worry about that. Animals, cows. Sheep. Truck. It's doing good. All right. So have we planted anything in here? No, we have not. What can we plant? I should have looked in one month. I am. Wheat, barley, or canola. I have chickens, so I'm going to go with barley. So let's go see what planter I have. I didn't have anybody check to see. I've got all my stuff here. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I do believe, yes, I do have a very decent sized planter. Uh, okay. Have you finished? Yes, you have. Alright, let's take him back. And get ourselves into a position where we can start to plant something. It's funny, every time I play this, whoa. Uh, every time I play this map, it's funny because in FS15 when I started playing this uh, farming simulator, I didn't really like this map to be honest. So I hardly ever played this map. I, I, I played Bjornholm instead of this one. Uh, and in FS17 I tried playing it. But again, I kind of really didn't... It kind of didn't really struck that good night with me, even in FS17. Uh, in FS19, I played it a little bit, and it kind of did all right, but still not really what you would call, you know. And here we are, FS22, and uh, despite the fact that I haven't really played it a lot, it kind of feels like I've played it a lot, and it kind of feels like that nostalgia where you've played it, a, um, where you've played the map a lot, if that kind of makes sense. I have not hooked up to this. I do not know if it is. Um, wow, talk about missing it completely. So it is empty. So I am hoping that somewhere out here. Somewhere right here, I have seeds, right? Silo is empty. This is also empty. Liquid fertilizer, no. Okay, back. No, I don't need liquid fertilizer. Oh, do not go so fast. Seeds, $27,000. Whoa. Yes, why not? I mean, it's not like we're not going to need it, is it? Alright, let's see how. Okay, and let's have a look at you. Oh, definitely not. Wow, is there going to be this? Oh, I was going to say. Yeah. 
fairly slow fairly slow if I may say so myself okay so we've got seed we got a fertilizer up and running um, which field should we go? We'll go to this field where we've already and we do want to put barley. Why barley? Don't know. Uh, we, still can, we can still feed it to a chicken. We can get uh, we can get our uh, straw so we can make our money off the straw. And oh, you know what? Did I pick the rocks of this field? And uh, maybe we need to look here. Yes, I did. Wow. How come I didn't pick up the rocks of 17? Okay, one thing is good about the equipment that uh, you were given is that you're not giving tiny equipment, that's for sure. Now what, before I do this, ah, uh, you know what I just did? We'll let this guy finish this little bit over here. Because otherwise, we're gonna kind of have that little bit that is not done. Do we need to put lime onto our other field? We... No, we do not. All right, so let's get you back home. And we're planting, we're planting our first field in Westbridge. Barley it is. And we did spend quite a bit of our cash and we did have a very productive first day. And that's why I have no problems in spending the cash because I know we can always make it back. Um, we are and we should be applying fertilizer without any issues whatsoever and that's the beauty with this planter that we were given is that it's quite handy to have uh, because you know we don't normally get given such large equipment to start up with alright we'll let the worker do this we'll hang around with him for a little while make sure he does the right thing I will check uh, needs rolling, I know that. Barley it is. First stage, plowed. I think I need to sort of cultivate it. And so on, but that's okay. We will just stick with it for now. spent the money that we didn't have in buying a skid steer. I was going to call it a bobcat, but it's not. It's a New Holland. It's the cheapest one that we have in game. And uh, we're going to try and utilize it. I do believe that I could just use the tractor. Um, and actually that would have probably be the smarter thing to do. Saw. What do we have? Brain. 
Oh, that's good. Not reality is we do need rain after you plant it. I wish in the next family simulator that they would do that. That uh, humidity would actually play a role. If you remember in FS15 seasons, uh, humidity actually played a role. Uh, I can't remember how big of a role, but I remember it did play a role. Uh, to me, uh, that's something that maybe they need to improve. It's fantastic that they put wheat. It's fantastic that they've put uh, uh, supposed precision farming where you can uh, sort of, you know, give a reason for your, uh, uh, you know, for all the fertilization more than just the fact that you're uh, improving the yield. And, and this is where, you know, something like uh, water would be fantastic to say, hey, uh, we planted the crops, it needs to rain on them so we can uh, actually benefit from the fact that we've planted the crops. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not, uh, I'm not having a go of anything. It's actually a very good, uh, it's very, very good progression. I was actually very surprised to find out that uh, Farming Simulator 22 uh, made it, oops, oh please I don't, I hope they're not gonna, uh, yeah Farming Simulator 22 was the number one selling game on Steam at one stage, outbeating the more, uh, I don't know, I thought the more popular games, uh, that were, you know, more violent games that were more, oops, I'm gonna just take those out door. And that was, to me, to be honest, that was surprising. It was very surprising to me to um, to uh, come across on YouTube a guy that uh, wasn't really into Farming Simulator. But the fact that uh, he saw that it was number one, he decided to give it a go and he made a video. Um, actually being extremely surprised that, uh, you know, at the popularity of Farming Simulator. Now, for us that play it, we're not surprised. But he was surprised. So, yeah, it would be good if we... Yep, I thought so. What I did is the reason that I've lost about $8,000 is I... Um, I went and bought a skid steer, a skid steer, skid steer thinking that, uh, you know, we're going to need a type of thing. Um, and then I've forgotten that I actually have this tractor that has a capacity to put a front loader on. Now, the reason that I wanted to put a front loader on is for the very simple reason that, you know, I thought it would be good to actually uh, play with a little bit more realism. And that is, uh, I don't normally deal with pallets, uh, I just use super strength and that's it. Um, purely because, well, I'm not that crash hot when it comes to dealing with, uh, uh, you know, any sort of skid steer or anything along that nature. So because of that, I was always kind of hesitant to deal with it, so I just uh, used either auto load when auto load was necessary. Well, not necessary. That's a that's a laugh. Necessary. Where auto load was probably the easy way to do it. And let me let me make this very clear. I do not intend for one second to even pretend that I'm going to attempt to be that realistic in the sense of um, uh, anything for that matter. That I'm going to go as far as uh, I thought that you could. No. No. Okay. I thought you can wipe the. Okay. Yes. I thought I. I thought that was right. But anyway, yeah. To attempt to do a whole field of bales and things of that nature. Um, I just thought it would be a fantastic thing to have this for feeding the animals. So when, whenever we need to feed the animals, instead of just carrying 
a bale. Well, instead of just carrying a bale super strength, you know, use the actual uh, front loader with the tractor to carry the bales around. Now, I don't really, uh, I don't really use this, so we might as well sell it. I don't think I ever. What is this for? This will cut sugar beets to feed them into your biogas plant. Um, I don't see myself using that. So it's just sort of wasting space sitting there. All right, so we're uh, we're uh, we've planted one field. We do need to get the rocks of our second field, so I'll uh, get all that organized and uh, we'll get into it. All right, so I list the rock picker. I did sell mine, thinking that I'm not really going to use it, and um, I'm sort of still debating whether I'm going to switch rocks off or not. But for now, we have it, so we're going to go collect the rocks and. Uh, Go and collect them obviously now we don't really i don't really have a rock crusher as yet to make a line so we're not really going to benefit as such from uh, from the rocks other than maybe getting a little a few dollars for it now i do have the very large 22 meter rock picker modded so i was and that's cheaper the way the modded this design that is quite a bit cheaper um, and it's color selectable but uh, I didn't really want to go down that path because it looks a little bit too ridiculously big so I didn't really want to um, you know get to a position where you know I'm using a massive 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 go rock picker for the map so this is why we're using this one um, we do have production as you remember we bought the first day we spent quite a bit of money and made quite a bit of money so we do have production our bread is uh, being made and probably soggy as anything right by now but hey not much we can do such is life we do not have we have rocks on this right yes we do tiny rocks but rocks nevertheless yeah, we don't have the. Uh, how, how would I say that? You know, the bread. It'd be nice if the the bread was born somewhere indoor instead of um, instead of outdoor type of thing. But hey, nothing we can do. We don't have control over that. So. Here we go collecting rocks one liter three liters wow we're getting a lot of rocks now because we're next to roads that's why we left i left the beacons on because we do want cars to see us as they're going by so we're not going to turn the beacons off as we're going into you know either side of roads uh, cars coming drive driving by we don't want to run into any accidents all right i think i'll do a bit of a time lapse on this one and uh, i'll see you when it's almost at the end
right, so uh, we'll continue our rock uh, collecting off screen. I think we've uh, done enough of it. And I'll leave this episode here since we got a rainy, gloomy day. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode when we'll be planting uh, the, our last field. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, map from the past. Uh, feel free to leave me your comments and let me know if you actually like this map or not. Uh, I enjoy playing it for now. Like I did say, I'm going to do a couple episodes on it and then we'll see what happens. Again, thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for watching. You have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world. And uh, God bless you and your family. So we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.